We communicated with each other about what we were doing. OK, so what's the downside of what you did? We didn't we, plan. Yeah, we, we didn't, didn't think about it. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't have the... the fact that the floor on, was needed on the roof. <laughs> we didn't have the time to do the planning, but in an ideal world, we would have been able to plan it more. Was there anything else you noticed about the way that you actually worked on it as a team? I think we did split. We had different groups. Yes, we did, mm. didn't yeah. we? Yeah, mm. I noticed that. I think you were right. When I watched you, I thought, oh, this is interesting. You've just split into two teams. Guess what? Experience group and the less experienced group. <laughs> and, and it wasn't because there was any animosity. I mean, the nice thing about your team is that there's no animosity. And I think that, that what has happened, although it's quite a natural thing to happen, is something maybe you want to think about how can you address, how can you integrate more? Because when I watched you do the shed, you just naturally drifted. And, and interestingly, when you were all together, there was a sense in which I think some of the people that I've got in the kind of the new group, if I can put it like that, if I read the body language right, it was a bit like I'm looking for direction. So I think maybe, you know, one of the things you could think about as a group is how can the people with the experience mentor more but also bring out the people, OK, who don't maybe have as much experience and provide some more focus for that. But at the same time, I think the people who don't have that experience maybe need to actually ask for things. Because I've got a feeling that there's a sense in which maybe you don't ask. So maybe there's a 50-50 coming together. So maybe that's going to be an open and honest discussion when I'm not here. Yeah. I think we can do that. Mm -hmm.